Hello! So, this video is actually kind of a fail um, because I didn't record it from start to finish. I just recorded putting in the values and working grayscale. Um, but I thought, well, I do have the footage anyway, so I could as well use it and upload it. And it might be um, helpful for some of you or perhaps it's also just nice to watch me painting the values so um, perhaps you like it either way um, so I started this I don't know how I got this idea I was scribbling in my sketchbook and then I drew this cute girl who was looking over some kind of a border or edge or something and I thought it could look like like a table perhaps and then I thought but what is she looking at it looks kind of um, empty without something and then I painted a glass in front of it and put something in it you will see it perhaps you also saw it on Instagram as well um, the link to my Instagram account is actually down in the info box below so if you want to check this out go ahead and do it um, after a few weeks um, of painting this I noticed that the fingers aren't really symmetrical or one hand is bigger than the other hand But then it was too late and the painting was already completed So I just left it as it was because I thought Yeah, well, I didn't bother really um, To change it again or to go into the painting again um, So the favorite part of this painting was painting her face I really love painting faces and so that was no um, surprise for me but I really had difficulty with her hair I'm not really good at painting curly or natural hair so um, because I think I do have straight hair so um, I don't have something to look at while I'm painting um, I tend to use myself a lot as a reference mm, but with paintings like this that's obviously not possible and I did want to draw her mouth but in the end it didn't work out and I thought she would just look cute without a mouth <laughs> so she doesn't have one I also noticed that her ears are kind of asymmetrical and not um, the same size but I don't mind that because it's who is symmetrical it's just not realistic at all um, but from that it's not a realistic drawing so I don't know either um, yeah I think the face is almost finished perhaps I go into it and add some highlights later I'm not sure anymore and I spent a lot of the time um, of this video on the hair I think and then I'm also painting the glass I was really afraid of painting glass because um, naturally it's a difficult thing to paint. I don't know if you um, if you painted glass before. For me it's really difficult because it is shiny and it's also translucent and um, yeah it's, it does have kind of a mirrory surface if you can call it so. Um, so that was a little difficult and also the contents of the glass were difficult because there is kind of a liquid in it um, so that was also difficult but I that was just the idea so I had I basically had to draw this and to paint this um, yeah I don't know it's not I think it isn't a good idea to avoid painting things or to avoid um, some topics just because you were not good at drawing or painting them so you would basically always draw the same thing and um, never get better I know that I tend to draw always the same things <laughs> that's, that's just because I love painting faces and people in general um, especially girls and women and um, but yeah, I wanted to have this glass in the in the um, in the painting, so I basically 
there was no way around it I just had to draw it and there I'm adding highlights to her hair and her face or head in general I think because my imagination or my uh, idea was that there is light from behind but that would also mean that most of her face would be in shadow and I wanted her face to be the focus of the painting um, besides the glass and so I just had to change the light source a little bit because I think there would be two light sources then um, sometimes I just make them up in my head and I hope that no one notices that it's just really not logical how the light falls in this picture um, but yeah you can just see me um, rendering the hair I don't know what I'm doing next actually ah, okay it seems like the next thing is painting the glass um, I think in a second we will go there yeah and I also didn't know how to um, paint the outlines of the glass because I use outlines but obviously a glass does not have outlines and I was was unsure whether I should include them or not um, I actually can't remember the last time I drew or painted glass I don't think I painted it in Photoshop before or at least I don't remember it but it would probably be a good idea to um, enhance my skills and uh, drawing things like that more often <laughs> but that's just something that I really don't like I don't like practicing without a purpose so just practicing for the practice itself that's just nothing that I like I just like to include it in a painting so um, yeah like this one I needed to draw or paint glass so I did it in this painting and not like separately in a study or something um, but I know that you should probably do that or that at least I should probably do that but anyway um, we're or I am trying to paint the water inside um, as I mentioned it's kind of a liquid I don't know which kind of liquid I just think it does have um, kind of like some preserving qualities because there is something in the liquid but I'm also no scientist or something like that so I don't dare to describe the qualities or the, <laughs> the actual liquid itself I also noticed that you don't see the layers in this video so I do have to um, again I think it happened before I do have to think about my layout or about my screen capture so that I record the whole um, the whole view and not just the Photoshop window itself I think it would be better um, I think that would be one thing that would interest me if I would watch a video like this um, yeah I'm trying to create shine I don't know <laughs> if it worked out in the end but um, I did my best sorry my stool is creaking um, I did my best on my chair I did my best to yeah make it look like a glass <laughs> and as you can see now there is kind of a cork plug to to close the lid so that none of the contents um, leak and I think I do paint the eye as well that was also such a struggle because as you can see the eye is in the in the glass so it was more difficult to shade it and it was also inside of the liquid so that was an extra um, an extra challenge for me and I struggled a lot with it I loved painting the cork by the way that was kind of an easy thing to do do um, and I think we're coming to the end of the video I'm so sorry that there is none of the none of the um, coloring process but in one of the next videos there will be here you see the end result I hope you like this video and I'll talk to you soon then bye guys